Have you ever gone to Google Images and searched for cluster analysis and found a beautiful scatter plot like this? In fact, most of the images that come up when you search for a cluster analysis are scatter plots. But in SPSS, how do you create them? Well, I just figured out how, so I'm going to show you. So we're going to do a two step cluster analysis scatter plot. Let's go do a scatter, or let's go do a two step cluster analysis. Go to analyze. Go to classify, two-step cluster. And I have some data on burgers from restaurants, from fast food restaurants, such as McDonald's and Burger King. And I'm going to classify them based on calories, total fat, sodium. Uh, these are good ones. We could throw in a few others if we wanted, but these will do. And I've shown a two-step cluster analysis before, so I'm not going to show everything here. Most important, I want you to do during this one, let me hit cancel here, is go to output and make sure to check the box for create cluster membership value or variable. We're going to use this later. Now I've also selected some evaluation fields such as the amount of protein and the restaurant that the burger's from. I'm hit continue. I've selected Euclidean. This isn't required, but it's what I use. And I specified three clusters because I think three is an easy number to analyze. It provides some discriminants, um, but also is not too many clusters that it gets muddy. Uh, you can do as many as you want. I'll hit OK, and it comes up with this. If you double click it, there's a bunch of options, and I've shown this before, and I'll show it again in another video I'm going to make right after this. But what I want you to do is uh, just close this actually, and we're going to go to Chart Builder, Graphs Chart Builder, and let me reset all of this. You're going to go down to Scatter Dot. And then click this second one and drag it out here, and you should see this template. Now, in the set color box, you want to stick that cluster membership number that was just created. So that goes there. It should be the very last variable in your data set. And then on the y axis and the x axis, pick whatever you want. Um, in this case, I'll pick calories and sodium, and then hit OK. It's going to come up with this very close to what we want plot. If you double click it, you can then customize it a bit. So if you click on the little circle here, for one, you can change how this appears. I'm just going to fill it with a green color. makes it easier to see. I'm going to click on this little circle next to two. These are the hardest ones to see. I'm going to change the outline to be red. Nice and easy. Change the fill to be red. Super easy to see. Go to the three. Can change this as well. Outline is purple already, so I'll leave it. Oops, and then I'll change the fill to be purple. There's probably a way to change the shape as well, but I don't know about it. Anyway, that's how you do it. And then you can just close this, and it changes it in the output window. You can right click, copy, stick it in a PowerPoint, start adding circles to it, um, and you're able to see how each cluster, so cluster one, two, and three, shows up on this. Um, X, Y axis comparing amount of calories to sodium or whatever your variables are. Um, to interpret this, we'd see the, these up here and say, whoa, these are the burgers you probably want to stay away from. These are high in calories, between 1,000 and 1,500 calories, and super high in sodium. Whereas these ones down here are lower in calories, lower in sodium, probably smaller burgers too. And then these are the ones in between. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Now you know how to make a scatter plot for a cluster analysis.